The folks at NASA are keeping a very close eye on some serious space junk, six tons of it to be exact, that is heading our way to Earth. A satellite is expected to fall out of the sky by the end of this week, and scientists say it's going to break into a million pieces as it gets closer to the Earth. But where's it going to land, and should we be worried? Well, CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood joins us from Orlando this morning. Bill, good to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Hey, thanks. So My pleasure. We, we've seen satellites come back to Earth, for example, Mir in 2001, and we have video and footage of those images. But the question this time is, is this satellite going to hit the Earth, and if so, where? Yeah, it's definitely going to hit the Earth, and as you said, it weighs 6.3 tons. It's going to break up, as you said, into a shower of debris, uh, but they're only expecting about 26 of these pieces to actually make it through atmospheric entry to hit the ground. Now, they don't know where it's going to hit the ground, and it's going to be spread out over a footprint about 500 miles long. Uh, but they think the odds of it actually hitting anyone or a populated area are fairly low. I mean, you got to remember that the Earth is three quarters water, so you've got a pretty good chance it's going to land in an ocean or a, an unpopulated area. But actually, they don't know. We're going to have to wait and see what the radar shows and get a better idea of exactly where it's going to come in. Do we have a sense for how big or how heavy the biggest pieces could be? Because that would obviously be the bigger concern. Something on the smaller side may not be such a big deal. Sure. You know, they have a very sophisticated computer software they use. Matter of fact, they used this uh, during the Columbia disaster to track the debris from that uh, disaster. Uh, they believe that the, of these 26 pieces, the largest piece is going to be about 330 pounds. Uh, they have some fairly massive components in the satellite, the solar array drive mechanism, for example, uh, things like that that will survive. But again, uh, the odds of it actually hitting anyone or hitting a populated area are considered fairly remote. What is the probability that this is going to be something we can see, we can actually watch occur as it happens? Well, you could absolutely see it. Um, you could even see it in the daytime if you happen to be under the ground track. The problem is they're not going to know exactly what the trajectory is until just a few hours before it comes in, and it doesn't get real accurate until just right before. There's a lot of variables, how it interacts in the atmosphere, how it tumbles in the atmosphere. Uh, so we really don't know. If you're lucky enough to be along the ground track, though, you should get quite a show, but that's pure luck. All right, Bill Harwood, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it.